This is Tito back with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you this IMO Ranger 2 and I have got this as a review unit and I have been using it for almost about a week now and today I'll show you my impressions and like kind of a full review of this camera and how it works. This is a Wi-Fi security camera of course a competition to the Mi 360 security camera it rotates like 360 of course so let's jump into the unboxing of this device and this is how the box packaging looks like and here we have the ranger 2 branding as you can see on the bottom and on the sides we have some features listed if you're noticing so on the body as you can see there is a built-in mic then the micro sd card network port power and built-in speaker then the reset button and stuff so let me unbox this package This is something which is gonna help you if you are mounting the camera on a wall or a ceiling. And here we have the mount and some screws over here as you can see. 5 volt 1 amp adapter as it's listed over here and standard like Indian plug over here and has a USB port and here we get this USB cable of course to connect this camera. And this is how the camera looks like as you can see and it kind of looks like the Xiaomi camera. And here as you can see it has the LAN port on the back and the USB port to like power it in. Now let me move to the front. Well on my package there are some scratches. So yeah it was couriered by DGDC so I can't talk about their service but I do see some scratches up top on this device. And here we have the camera itself and it rotates like 360 degree. So yeah and like it kind of is like rotatable on the top and the bottom too as you can see so here is the imo camera app preview this is how the apps icon looks like as you can see and the app you can have this security as the like fingerprint scanner as you can see i can just put my finger over here and it unlocks for me so yeah i was like playing some games so it shows the last time whenever you have opened it and if you click over here you can get the live view as you can see this is how the camera looks like and if you want to record some like live view on the device you can just click on this record or you can take a snapshot from here by clicking on this snapshot or you can speak to the camera wherever you put it and like speak through the phone to the camera it's like a call between the devices so it works great the like camera also has a mic and a speaker so that's great the other party can listen and talk to you through the camera itself and if you talk about the histories and stuff here if you click over here it shows the like by cloud storage i don't have a cloud storage so i am using a 32 gb sd card here so if you go into here you have to give it some time to load up and once it loads as you can see it started loading up the blue area shows the idle part and this is where like there is no motion detected the blue part if you have all the time like recording you can see like this is when i was gaming so yeah it also records the audio and stuff if i turn on this audio as you can see whatever the audio was i was gaming so you can hear my keyboard and stuff let me scroll back again as you can see i'm just sitting over here using the phone it shows everything over here so this is pretty good it records all like all the time the audio and stuff you, you can just like move over there and this orange part you are seeing over here because it detected the motion it's like a pinkish orange kind of as you can see and the blue part is of course idle i just talked about it earlier and this is how it looks like when it's like totally dark so this is how it looks like when there is the infrared camera turned on and as you can see in this like low light there is like i can't even see my floor it's, it's that dark so yeah you can see this is how it looks like and when the infrared like mode is turned on it's turned on automatically by the way and like whenever the light goes out or something and there is no light at all in the room it switches to the infrared lighting mode automatically there is kind of a like red light on top of the camera whenever the like infrared mode is turned on i'll show a picture over here how it looks 
and by the way with this live view you can zoom it in as you can see box over there is uh, geforce zotac gtx 1070 so pretty much like the picture quality is not very bad at all as you can see it's a live view and you can zoom it in this much so that's really great and you can select the hd or sd from here whatever like quality you want to get because it depends on the internet if you don't have a strong internet you can like choose sd by the way the camera is a 1080p camera of course and in this app you can just rotate it like this and it will switch to the like landscape mode automatically you don't have to turn on rotation or something for this feature now let me go into the settings and you can have the arm settings from here and let me tell you if you have this smart tracking turned on this is how it will work <coughs> So you can just move like this and it will track yourself like this as you can see. It can track you anywhere if this feature is enabled. And it also like records the audio all the time. So you can just play it back on your phone. And from the memory card you can read the file whenever you want to play. So here just to give you an idea that like with one tube like turn on, it can track you just like anywhere. It's totally 360 so you can track you anywhere as you can see. You can just like move from here and I can see the camera is moving up and down and like 360 degrees sideways. And with this human detection notification, whenever a human walks around like in front of the camera, you get a notification on your phone. So that's really cool. We have this motion detection thing. So if you have it turned on, whenever there is a motion, then only it will record the part. Otherwise, it will stay idle and it won't be recorded on your like SD card. So that's really cool feature. I would say use this instead of recording all the time because like if you record all the time let me show you the local storage i have the recording all the time turned on for like a few hours and as you can see it almost filled 5 gb of the memory card and i would say i have tested it if you turn on the like recording all the time it almost consumes about 11 gb in a day or 24 hours so that's really too much like totally it will fill up your 32 gb sd card in almost like three days so that's really too much so no need to record like all the time whenever it detects the motion it will record just turn on that feature and how do you do that let me show you from the settings you go to this local storage settings and from here just disable this general recording storage turn off as you can see if you turn it off it won't record all the time and that blue part i just showed you on the timeline it won't be there there will be only orange parts so that's good whenever it detects motion it will record on the card and this camera sliding feature is really cool and right now if i click over here the camera will just go down as you just saw this is a privacy mask when it's done that you cannot like view or like listen to the audio what's happening on the like camera side if you turn this off it takes a moment but as you can see the camera comes up again and this microphone is turned on so that the microphone stays on always you can also disable the microphone if you want to if you have some privacy issues of the talking and stuff it won't record the audio if you have this one turned off now again you can share the device with like any other account if you have and this network configure feature is really good and here i can like switch the wi-fi networks whatever i want to and i would say this feature was not there or i could not find this feature on the Mi Home app for the like Mi 360 camera, one of my friend got it, so I was checking the app out, but I could not just like figure this network configure settings out, so I had to reset that camera to get that Wi-Fi connection set up wizard. So yeah, that's really weird for that Mi Home app, but here you can just get it over here as you can see on this network config area. Now inside more, you have this IR light settings. I have it turned on auto. This device indicator, it will just show a green like color. Let me just turn it on. As you can see, it popped up. I don't know if you can really see it. And here we have the camera image flip, which will like flip the image 180 degrees. If you want to mount the camera on a uh, like ceiling or something, you can use this feature. And also from here, as you can see, there is the micro SD card slot and there is a reset button of this camera. And the scrolling wheel is like really nice. You can tap it once to like make a little bit of movements or if you want like rapid movements, you can just like pull it like this. As you can see, it goes all the way up and you can put it to sideways and get a really nice <laughs> view, I guess. Looks pretty cool. So yeah, works great. And by the way, if you want to access the SD card and see the recording, you can click over here 
and if you go to this SD card you can see there are like all the footages which has been recorded and I would say all the footages over here is kind of like a five minutes of interval so there is one problem with that is like if something happens between one to five minutes recently you cannot really see the footage actually like really fast you have to wait for at least four to five minutes to like see it over here so with that you get like one plus point and one minus point is that like if it records for one hour interval you cannot really see the footage for almost one hour until it has finished the recording but we are lucky that it records the footages almost of five minutes of intervals so that's great and this timeline i am really liking it over here that like you can just scroll through it and see everything what happened in the past and there is a date you can change the date and see like whatever happened yesterday or like today so i would say i really like love this timeline kind of feature this really helps like at times and one plus point is that it also has a pc app so with this imu app you can control everything from like your pc and i have downloaded it and installed it this is just a normal exe file it will ask you for the login i have auto login turned on so it's just getting me into the app itself so once you get in the app it will look like this as you can see on full screen i was confused that doesn't show the camera it well it does here on the left side you will find this camera and if you click on this play button or even here you can see everything on your screen just like this as you can see and you can double click over here and you can add multiple cameras from here of course and like it shows up like this as you can see kind of trippy it looks but yeah it does work so you can control everything from here you can record it or take a snapshot just like this as you can see it took the snapshot so that's great and even you can talk if you want to from here as you can see if i hold like this it says enable talk so you can talk from your pc itself so pretty great you can record of course and you can move the camera itself from here yeah it is kind of slow and it does like overdo it but yeah you have to get used to it kind of we also have a like privacy mask over here if you're looking at this icon on the bottom and if you turn it on you won't be able to like see anything so that's great like makes the camera go down like this as you're seeing on the screen so yeah it's a really great feature you can do this from the pc and one more plus point is that the like usb cable you get in the box is almost a one and a half meter or like two meter usb cable almost i mean it's pretty long and by the way this is a indoor camera not an outdoor camera so in case if you want to use a camera outdoors or something this is not the one this is a indoor security camera so i would say in my opinion this is a quite a nice option if you want to get a like 360 camera within your budget of around 2500 rupees this is a quite a great option I would say it is in some ways better than the Mi 360 camera although I haven't used that for a long time but from first impressions and looking at the features and stuff with the app I would say this camera seems a little bit better than that but you do you you can choose whatever you need I'll put the link for this in the description box below so you don't need to worry Thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now